but we were standing there laying on the rocks like and we could only see one bird flying over this vast canyon and I was so inspired you could hear only a few sounds it was like this is a church like I've never been in this yeah is what, this is what the feeling of God I think you get that feeling just as you drive into town it's so amazing and seeing the red rocks there and, yeah and it's so touching and so stimulating and you 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 can understand like the chants and like oh you you the Indians up. you could really feel the pulse the, the land becomes alive and the quieter you get you just hear the sounds like shh, 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 the, what are one bird maybe the whole canyon you might only hear one you might see a little butterfly whatever but it's just it's like almost like you're on peyote or something without having to even taken there. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. I know, it's a gorgeous it's place. It's an enriching experience. Yeah, I want to definitely need to go there. Are you going to share that poem with us? Or? Which poem? That poem that you just wrote? I don't remember all of it, but I, I remember one that came out of that series was the one... Is that where the Hopis are? Yeah, that part, yeah. Um, but you're talking about the frontier and all that. Yeah. The spirit, it, one of them is called Spirit Wind, which I'm recording, but this is from... It was also from the Galactic Symphonies. Um, Never before in galactic span has been told the tale of man. Defies all bound, defies all space, upsets all theories and in their place, puts wisdom of the ancient race. Stories of creation thrown of man who left his home from stars among the universe and found the earth alone, void of purpose, without form. Cold, barren, uniform. No room to differentiate choice from predetermined fate and save the world before it's too late. For mankind, since time has opened up its book for solutions to problems and terrorism and savagery looks, and each age has the answer, and each age the road will pave, and all our undaunted saviors lead us to that same grave. So, where can we find salvation? Hey, there we go. Can we discern from the movement of the tree within the quake the presence or the power through which earthly things take shape? Can we know from the pull of the planet and the stars the life within the atom, the life we know is ours? Did man in his greatest age through every prophet and every sage ever calm the unstoppable rage, the ruthless destruction, the war, the hate, the cheating and the lies? Did anyone stop the horror? the earthly wise? Did anyone you know of teach the roses how to grow? Show the harmony to maple leaves? Teach the rivers to take a flow? Anyway, there's a little of one. Thank you. My Corona. That's a little of one.